Who talking? Oh, Lord, and send your blessing down. Oh, Lord, and send your blessing down.
sun to the going down of the same. There's no greater name to be praised. Y'all know these men look good up here, y'all. Give these men a hand clap. Amen. I know uh, Minister Nelson been begging about the men to be up here. Look at all these men we got up here. Come on, y'all. Give them one more hand clap. They look good. We're grateful for them singing uh, our con congregational songs to be the ushers in the spirit of the Lord. Because we know where the spirit of the Lord is. There's liberty. Amen, somebody. It is good for us to be in the house of the Lord one more time. I don't know any other place I'd rather be than in the house of the Lord. Amen. Come on, y'all. Let's give the Lord one more hand clap. He's worthy, y'all. He is worthy to be praised. We're grateful for you all being with us again. Those that are with us in this place called Sanctuary and those that are watching with us online, uh, we're grateful for you being here. If this is your first time with us. Uh, at the place called Sanctuary, we ask you to stand and like everybody here may be fat, but amen, we're grateful for you, those that are watching online, let us know where you're watching from, amen, we pray that a, a song is sang, a sermon is preached, to make you want to come back and be with us again, I ask you ma'am and sir, please share this message, this worship experience, it's by like you inviting God's house to come in somebody else's house, amen, so those please like, share, and comment, amen. Because we believe here friendship that sharing is caring. Amen? Amen. 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 Uh, but this is our birthday uh, uh, week in, in the month of March. Do we have any March birthdays? Any March birthdays? All right, stand. And which one of you? I get y'all mixed up. Zayden. That's Zayden. Zayden. How old are you, Zayden? Nine. Nine. When's your birthday? March the 9th. All right, y'all. Let's come on. Let's give Dave Zayden a hand clap. Any other birthdays? Zayden, we're going to sing happy birthday to you, okay? A one, two, three. Also, we're mailing the title offer to the same address 
as well. Those in this place called sanctuary, if you don't have an envelope, raise your hand. We'll make sure one of our wonderful ushers. Amen. We got some got a hand raised over here. Uh, amen. Usher somebody this uh, uh, on this side right here. Amen. Uh, Lord, I miss you, Mark. My Miss. Help me out, man. Ah, Willow Bay. Lord have mercy. Willow Bay had a had a brain freeze there. That's right. Miss Willow Bay. Amen. And raising her hand for our uh, envelope, best will. We're grateful again for your forgiveness and your giving. Amen. And we, we thank you so much for all that you do. Amen. Amen. At this time, we're going to have our announcements by Sister Tori. All right. You got it?
10 a.m. Saturday morning. Thank you. Amen. Before Lady Giddy comes up with the uh, Women's History Month, I just want to say, uh, uh, let's get to your hand clap, y'all. We also want to say, God. We have a lot of announcements. Amen. Uh, I want to say that uh, uh, thank you to those all, all those that came out to the Gethsemane workshops and the uh, lectures and preaching on last week. Amen. We had a wonderful time last week. Amen. Did we not? Amen. It was a wonderful week, and we're grateful again. And I, I had stated to, to, to somebody they want to share about what they learned in their class or the lecture that will be a blessing to the body. Anybody want to share something they learned uh, on last week? They want to share with anybody? So, who got something you want to share? That's <laughs> why I ain't going to put you on the spot. I told y'all already. You got something you want to share about it? This one thing you learned in your class that you think will be beneficial to everybody. Get a mic. Get a mic. Criticism and that not be mad and angry, amen. And I think you talk about uh, Dr. Clint McFarland that preached, amen. He was uh, one of our revivalists on last year for our revivalists out of the Atlanta Grace uh, Baptist Church, amen. We're grateful again uh, for his friendship and him. He's coming back next year for the assembly as well. We're grateful. Anybody else got anything you want to share about that in their class or in the lectures? I gave y'all, I gave y'all going to be some homework. Uh, anybody else? So you want to share anything about your place? Sunrise service. I want everybody to come out. Y'all, they, 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 we, we have some good food. Amen. 
some spiritual food and physical food. Amen. So I know some of y'all might come just to eat, but it's okay. Now come on and get a word. Then we'll get something to eat and we'll go right, go right into worship. Uh, well, up to my Sunday school, and then we'll go right into worship as regular schedule. Amen. So again, we thank you again so much for all that you do. Amen. We can't do what we do without you all. Y'all, I got one last thing I want to say. I see you back there. Uh, I, I want to say, Bree, y'all free stand up with me. Bree for a little bit. I ain't going to bash you, but stand up, y'all. That's Bree right there, y'all. She's one of our newest members. She came early last week, and somebody said, who are you? So I've been going to church about a year. <laughs> She's our newest member. She got thrown into the fire. One of our newest members got thrown into the fire on last week, and, uh, and she did not burn and did not smell like smoke. Y'all, she did a great job on the media, and we're great for y'all. Give Bree a hand clap. Thank you so much for being with us, amen? It's one thing to be able, but it's a whole other thing to be with us, amen? And we're grateful that she's going to fill in when uh, Keandra go off to school and whenever uh, St. them, you know, uh, St. had his schedule as well. We're grateful St. being with us. Thank you to see you again, sir. Now, just say the hand clap as well. Amen. Now, we, we can't do what we do again without you all. Amen. And we're, we're excited, y'all. We're excited what God is doing. Uh, I got another quote for the, the, uh, uh, the cameras that's getting ready to go up. We're praying that God do what he's going to do. Amen. Now, I don't got my two or three quotes. That quote keep going up because we hadn't did anything. Amen. How many of y'all know prices going every year? Amen. So we, we're looking forward to what God is going to do so we can get that camera out of there. Up there, so we won't have these technical issues that we have where people can hear muffling all the complaints that I get on a regular basis. Amen. The other week, uh, I told Toya uh, that the, 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 everything went out. I said, I've been saying something, I pray to hear what the Lord's saying now because everything went out on, on the worship experience online. And we apologize for that for those that are watching, and I promise y'all that we're gonna get better. Amen. Amen. Come on, y'all. God be the glory. Let us receive Lady Gilly as she comes with the women's history moment. Sisters, sister girls, 
godmothers, nieces, and daughters. We make this world a brighter place to put the W in wonderful and the M in magnificent. There's something about a black woman. My brothers, don't try to understand it. It's too deep. Just love us, celebrate us, and thank God every day for the black women in your lives. Hallelujah. There's something about a black woman. Now I ask all black women to please stand up. And we ask all our brothers to give them a hand.
So from that day on, the principal looked at us, he said, I guess I have to change my attitude. So from that day on, the teachers go back to school. Because we, 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 we want to get together and show sometimes change is good. Amen. And we got to realize when change is not good. Amen. So this is my little presentation on black history and women's history. Thank you. Amen, amen. We thank you so much, uh, Lady Gilly, amen, for reminding us of something about a black woman. Amen. We're grateful. We know many of us are all men. We know we wouldn't be where we at if it wasn't for a black woman. Amen. 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 Come on, let's give our women a hand clap. Amen. We thank you for uh, letting us know about Sister Bridges and you being a, uh, uh, also a living, amen, black history woman as well. We thank you, y'all. Let's get ready to get a warm hand clap this time. Amen. We're going to have our uh, congregational men choir. Amen. They're going to sing a song, and I'll be back before you with the word of God in that order. Amen.
we do is get another hand clap. Ready to go. Nothing on this train to move, but everything we get. Let us look to the Lord in prayer. Most gracious and glorious God, our Father. God, we come once again, Father God. We ask you to give them and thank you for everything. And we thank you, God, for these men reminding us, God, that we have to get our hearts in order. God, because we don't know the time or the hour in which you will return. But God, we ask right now, God, that while we have the breath of our bodies and activities and our limb and our sound mind, and everything that we do, God, is to give you praise and give you honor in our life and through our life. So God, I ask you right now, God, to have your way in this preaching moment. Let you hide it behind you at the cross, God, and let your people not see me, but see you through me. Now let us not only be hearers of the word, but let us be doers of the word. God, now, we ask right now, God, that you allow the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, allow them to be acceptable on our sight, O oh Lord, you are my strength, my, my, my strength and our redeemer. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 John's Gospel, chapter 12. Ooh, those are heavy Bibles. You're able to stand on Ashley's stand. We're going back to John 12. We were uh, first and second Sunday. The Lord has led us back there. Amen. We talked about Mary. Amen. How she worshiped Jesus. Martha worked. Lazarus, who we raised from the dead, was with Jesus. Amen. I'm going to read the from New King James Version, John chapter 12, reading from the 12th verse. Uh, the lady Curitan is watching, we're grateful for her, uh, watching with us. She prayed for me this morning. Uh, if this can bother that she ain't with me this morning, amen. I'm grateful she's with me in spirit. Good to have you with us, Ms. Reynolds. Amen. And Ms. Williams. If you got it, say, I got it, I got it. All right. The triumphal entry. The next day, a great multitude that had come uh, to the feast when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, and cried out, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Then Jesus, when he had found a young donkey, settled it, as it is written, Fear not, daughter of Zion, behold, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. His disciples did not understand these things at first, but when Jesus was glorified, that they remember the things that were written about him, and that had uh, they and they that they had done these things to him. Therefore, the people who were with him, uh, when he called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from the dead, bore witness. For this reason, the people also met him, because they heard that he had done this sign. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Grass will be in the flower's faith. The word of our God shall stand forever. Now, for a service subject this Palm Sunday, the Lord will have me share with you uh, something to shout about. There's something to shout about. Amen. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Amen. Say, oh, neighbor. Oh, neighbor. You got something to shout about. Tell your other name. What's wrong with that? That still stupid. Come on. Tell them, say, neighbor. neighbor. <laughs> oh, neighbor. neighbor. You got something to shout about. Amen. Amen. Something to shout about. Now, as we uh, walk into Holy Week uh, this week and during this Lenten season, season of Lent, y'all, those of you that, that uh, 
may need to be reminded what Lent is. Lent is it's a 40-day season of prayer, of fasting, and, and almsgiving that begins on Ash Wednesday. It began on February 14th this year. Okay, and it ends at sundown on, on Holy Thursday, or some call it Monday Thursday. And it comes from a Latin word, uh, uh, mandatum, mandatum, that uh, it means uh, a commandment. Reflecting on Jesus' word, he says, I give you a new commandment. It is followed by Good Friday. How many of y'all know about Good Friday? Everybody know about Good Friday, right? Then after that, you have what they call Holy Saturday, or some call it Silent Saturday, or Black Saturday. It's a period of preparation for the celebration of the Lord's Resurrection Sunday. I said all that to get to that, y'all. How many of y'all know that, that, uh, uh, that God still has resurrected power. Amen? Amen, somebody. Amen. Today's Christian around the world, on today, y'all, they are, they're celebrating Jesus' triumphal entry to Jerusalem, which we usually call Palm Sunday. Amen? Because the crowd welcomed him by spreading palm branches in his path. Those who greeted him were convinced that he was the Messiah, that he was the anointed one, that he was sent by God to establish his kingdom on earth. Now, when Jesus rolled into Jerusalem on that donkey, the triumphal entry, is it's, it's accounted for in all four Gospels. It's, if you go to Matthew chapter 21, you can read it through verse 11, 1 through 11, Mark, verse 11, uh, chapter 11, verses 1 through 11, Luke, chapter 19, is in verses 28 through 14, and then here we are, John, chapter 12, verses 12 through 19. Now, this was a glorious fulfillment of prophecy that came from uh, Zechariah chapter 9, when, when, when John quotes it in verse 15, he says that the coming of the king rejoiced greatly, O thou daughter of Zion, Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. It says, Behold, your king is coming to you. He is just and having salvation, lowly and riding a donkey. Now, this fits the description of the king that will come from Judah's line, from Judah's lineage, uh, as, as, as referenced in, in Genesis chapter 49, verses 8 through 12. The reader. It's familiar with the Old Testament. We remember a similar ride that was made by David's son Solomon in 1 Kings. Y'all, it's the culminating event of Jesus presenting himself to the nation of Israel as their formal king. Amen. Paul Gretchen was used in a similar fashion in the 2nd century uh, 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 B.C. to welcome another great hero. Uh, 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 Judas uh, 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 Maccabus before Rome rose to power, Israel was conquered by uh, 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 the, the, the emperor of, of Greece under the, under the rule of Alexander the Great. For the most part, there was a peaceful, it was a peaceful time. However, this vicious tyrant came to power in Greece named uh, uh, Antonus uh, Epith Epithenes. Antonus Epiphanes around 165 BC. This man was determined to wipe out Judaism, although he put it to place the Greek religion. It was a time where there was severe persecution. This was a time that was met with very uh, 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 famous historical character by the name of Judas uh, 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 Maccabus. He led a revolt and fought against the Greeks and won. He won the war, and all of his warriors headed back to Jerusalem and, and for the victory march, and they greeted him, and they said, we praise him with palm branches, and, 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 and because of his great enemy has been removed from Israel. So that's where the palm branches derive from. And I want to let y'all know there's something that we still can shout about. Amen, somebody. How many of y'all believe there's something you still shout about? 
That's something you can still shout about in our text. And Jesus shows us, y'all, his self-denial. Somebody say self-denial. Self-denial, y'all. Self-denial is the denial of one's own interests and needs and desires. Y'all, tell somebody it's not about you. It's not about you. Jesus shows us that it's not about us. Y'all, at that, that, that the place called Gethsemane, y'all, Jesus asked the Lord three times to allow this bitter cup to pass from him. Y'all, but then, I, then I, after the third time, he said, not my will, but what did he say? Thy will shall be done. The Gospel of Matthew, verses 16 through 24, 24 through uh, 26, chapter 16, then Jesus said to his disciple, he said, if anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself. Take up his cross and follow me. It's the concept of being of self-denial, y'all. It, it, it's the heart of Paul's teaching and, uh, uh, of submission to God. In Titus chapter 2, uh, verse 12, he teaches us that, that to say no to ungodly and worldly passions and, and, and to live a uh, self-controlled life. For us to be upright and, and to live godly lives to serve this present age. Verse 13, he says, he says, while we wait for the blessed hope and the appearing of the glory of the great God, our Savior, Jesus the Christ, who himself uh, uh, to be redeemed for us from all wickedness, he redeemed us from all wickedness and the impurity to, for, for himself, a people of his very own, eager to do what is good. Jesus showed up. How many of y'all know Jesus will show up? He showed up. And, and, and Jesus was approachable. He was approachable and he was available. He shows us, us as the doctor, that we got to be approachable and available as well. Like that's a lot. It's encouraging to know that, that Jesus was never too busy for us. He was never too distracted or overwhelmed or, or to, 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 for us to bring our concerns to him. Amen. He did it then and he's still doing it now. It is a great example for us to follow. A great model for us to follow. Jesus uh, also demonstrated humility. How many of y'all know we have to humble ourselves? Tell your neighbor, humble yourself. Y'all, he, he did not uh, 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 see him, himself above his people, but, but instead he, he got on a lowly donkey, the text tells us. He got to their level and, 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 and he got out of, out of here. How many of y'all know Jesus was reachable? And that's what we have to do, y'all. We can't be so heavenly bound that we ain't no earthly good. Isn't that somebody? Somebody here know what I'm talking about. Y'all, we, we have to be able to meet people where they are. Isn't that somebody? Christ chose a donkey to ride on. Y'all, a donkey, y'all, we, we may look at it as something being demeaning or, or degrading, but how many of y'all know a donkey is a symbol of peace? That's what it is. Y'all, in it, 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 this time on earth, uh, those who arrived on donkeys were, were considered to come with a peaceful intent. Y'all, it's refreshing to know that, that, that when the world is so frantic, how many of y'all know we're in a crazy world that we're in right now? But how many of y'all know you can count on the peace and the comfort of Jesus Christ? You can count on the great comforter. Y'all, he gives us something to shout about. In the midst of our storms, in the midst of your situation, in the midst of the trials and tribulations that you may be going through, in the midst of the bad doctor reports, they met somebody. In the midst of you having to stick yourself because you got to take a shot every morning. In the midst of everything that you're going through, how many of y'all know he's still the Prince of Peace? Amen. He's the Prince of Peace. We have to understand in order for us to have peace of God, we got to have peace with God. The Bible says that there's something for us to shout about. It says that, 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 that Jesus' followers laid down their their, their, their coats, their cloaks, their, their, their clothing, whatever covered them up. Y'all, their, 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 their articles of clothing, um, it, it was meant to keep them warm and comfortable, but in order to honor him as he entered the city, they laid it down. 
How many of y'all got some things that we got to learn how to lay down before the Lord as well? Amen, somebody. How many of y'all know we got some bad habits that we got to lay down? We got some bad friends that we got to lay down? We got some bad attitudes, somebody that know what I'm talking about, that we got to lay down? And we have to understand that we're going to consider ourselves a believer of Jesus Christ, the coming king. And we got to learn how to lay some things down for him. When was the last time you laid down the red carpet for Jesus? Y'all, when, when was the last time you did something, amen, without expecting him to do something back for you? Somebody here know what I'm talking about. When was the last time you invited somebody to come to church to hear about the Jesus that you say, that you love, that you say, that you serve? When was the last time? Come on. Paul believes, y'all, was a start. Yeah. But we have to be willing to offer something personal like these people need, y'all. It, it, it's personal. Tell your neighbor, it's personal. It's personal, y'all. Are you willing to, to, to be a personal, uh, to, to allow your body uh, uh, to be a living sacrifice? That's what Paul said, y'all, in Romans 12 and 1. He said, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, uh, uh, by the mercy of God, that you present your bodies as a what? As a living sacrifice. He says, holy and acceptable unto God, which is what? Your reasonable service. Amen. Last time I looked out in the congregation, everybody in the end living, they met somebody. They met somebody. But how many y'all know that as long as you're living, you got, a, you got a sacrifice that you can give to the Lord. Amen. In each gospel attempt, we find the story of Jesus trying to enter y'all into Jerusalem. The people cut branches and they waved them in the air. They, they laid him out on the ground as he rolled through the city. The palm branches was known to, to represent uh, goodness and victory. How many of y'all truly believe you got the victory already in your circumstance? Yeah. He, they, they knew that, that at that moment, that day, y'all, that, 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 that they were long to give God worship and give Jesus praise. Y'all, Jesus, the King, who comes in the name of the Lord. Yeah. Defiles the image of the earth of kings who came in on chariots and horses. Instead, he came into town on a lowly donkey and showed us that we have to deny ourselves because we all got something to shout about. Not only he shows that we have to have self-denial, he also shows us, Jesus shows us a uh, service. He shows us service. Let the church say service. Yes. Service, y'all, by definition, is the action of helping somebody. It's the action of doing the work, not for you, but for somebody else. Hey, that's somebody. It's about uh, uh, assisting someone else. Y'all, and that should be something for you to shout about. It's easy for you to shout when somebody else is assisting you. But when was the last time you assisted somebody else? Hey Amen, somebody. Y'all ain't got to ask it, but I'm just asking. Y'all, y'all, yeah. But, but how many of y'all know that I'm glad that the Lord sent his son, our Savior, to sit, come by and help us? And how many of y'all know he came by to help us? And we got to learn how to help somebody else somebody along the way. Y'all, because of this salvific work, that we are, we are saved, y'all. We are secure. We're, we're sound, y'all. And, and because he sent his comforter, the Holy Ghost. How many of y'all know we got a guide? We got assistance as well. Y'all, the Holy Ghost, uh, uh, it, it ain't going to let you shout in church and allow you to go cut somebody out in the parking lot. They ain't somebody. But the Holy Ghost will help you hold your mouth, hold your tongue. Amen. You can be angry with the Bible saying, but don't worry. But don't see it. And we have to understand that our service is the best sermon that we could ever preach. Ever. Somebody may not ever come to hear Pastor Curator, but they're going to hear you. They're going to they gonna watch you. They're going to read you. They're going to ask somebody. But they say, they're going to do for me. But we have to understand that your service is the best sermon that you will ever preach. And as, they, as I, I began to read this story of Jesus' triumphal entry in Jerusalem, a few things seem peculiar to me. Uh, as a child, y'all, I, I remember 
coming to church. And I, and I remember we used to have them here too. We used to have the, 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 the palm branches when they came in, everybody had one. Yeah. And, and, and they would yell out, Hosanna, Hosanna. Y'all remember that? Now, I, 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 I really didn't know what the true meaning was of those actions. Uh, but And I wonder if some people, y'all, who had journeyed in Jerusalem to that festival, who held up those palm branches, really knew what they were saying when they said, Hosanna, Hosanna. I wonder if they really knew the significance of what they were saying, y'all, because uh, in Jesus' time on earth, palm branches uh, were, were meant that triumph. I told y'all it meant goodness. It meant victory. Y'all, it, it was a, 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 political, a political statement indicating, indicating that they were saved. The hero was Jesus. Y'all, it was believed that, that he was the one that was going to rescue them from their current suffering of the Roman rule. In fact, the term that yeah, they yelled out, Hosanna. How many of y'all know it means save us now, please? Anybody ever, ever Lord, did I ask the Lord to save you yeah. in your situation and circumstance? Yeah. Yeah. Initially, the word had a, 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 a deep meaning of God's power to save. Hosanna then translated from uh, into a joyous praise of victory. And when they, when they, when they realized the crowd was was was, was throwing and, and, and swaying branches and shouting Hosanna, Hosanna, they brought Jesus to save them immediately. Y'all, in John chapter 12, verse 7, 17, 18, the crowd who had experienced the miracles firsthand. They seen Jesus do miracles. They seen Jesus raise the dead and heal the sick. They, they seen him, y'all. But, but how many of y'all know them were the same ones that, that were saying Hosanna was the same ones that nailed him to the cross? Amen. That's somebody. The same ones that were saying Hosanna, Hosanna was the same ones that were saying Crucify him. Crucify him. And this is a prime example, y'all, uh, that we have to understand how we can't follow the crowd. How many of y'all know we can't follow the crowd? If you got to go all by yourself, how many of y'all know you got to go? We got to go all by yourself. Because the crowd, y'all, will celebrate you one more. And how many of y'all know that same crowd will crucify you the next morning? Amen, somebody. Personally, y'all, I think that the crowd, they had little knowledge of who Jesus was. Y'all, they may have knew of Jesus, but they didn't know Jesus. How many of y'all know the difference thing of knowing Jesus and knowing of Jesus? How many of y'all, when you know him, you got a relationship with him? You spent time with him. Ain't that somebody? You, you suck with him. Y'all, they only wanted what Jesus could do for them. Not what they can do, what he can do for what they can do for him. Luke chapter 19, it tells us that, that Jesus wept over Jerusalem. Why, why did he weep? Uh, that all that's, he wept because he could see their rejection. Now, they, they didn't understand who he was. They, 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 they didn't understand uh, 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 who, 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 he was, who he was coming and, and to save. Y'all, they, they could see how they needed a savior to rescue them from their own personal sins. Y'all, they, 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 they thought someone, uh, they thought Jesus was coming to wipe out their enemies. Y'all, but, but, but how many of y'all know, the, all they wanted was their hardships to go away, but their hearts hadn't changed. And that's what we got to understand, that it's an inside job, amen, when you, when you know Jesus. Those who lay branches at the feet now are celebrating uh, the nails that were dragged, they were, they were, they were nailed to the same feet. They met somebody. As I said, they sh those that shouted joy was, and, and turned around was cheering, crucify him. Crucify him. Jesus' disciples, they cried out, Hosanna, Hosanna. There was a time of spiritual darkness and social turmoil. Y'all, they, 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 that time had returned and Jesus again had ordered them to stop saying, uh, uh, they, they ordered the, the, the Pharisees to try to get them to stop saying, Hosanna, Hosanna. But how many of y'all know what Jesus said in that text? Jesus said to them, uh, uh, corporately and publicly, he says, uh, uh, you either let them praise me, he said, but uh, 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 they don't praise me. How many of y'all know he said, the stones will praise me? Hey, that's somebody. 
And I don't know about you, y'all. I don't want no walk crying out for me. How many of y'all got something to shout about about what God has done in your life? Somebody here know what I'm talking about. Has the Lord did something for you? Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Has the Lord turned some things around in your life that you knew that you couldn't do by yourself? And how many of y'all know that's the reason why you should be able to have something to shout about? Because how many of y'all know he's worthy? He's worthy to be praised. We have to understand that, that as, as, as Luke 19 and 37 through 34 says, it says that when they were drawing near uh, 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 the, the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of disciples began to rejoice. They began to praise God with a loud voice and all the works that they, they had seen and saying, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory to the highest, y'all. And some of those Pharisees who called on him for the crowd told the teacher to rebuke them. But he answered them. He said, if I should do the kingdom silent, then the rocks will cry out to me. We got something to cry to God about. We got something to shout about because of his self-denial. We got something to shout about. Secondly, I told y'all because of his service. And lastly, as I get ready to leave y'all now, we got something to shout about. Because Jesus shows us his sacrifice. Yeah. Somebody say sacrifice. Yeah. Sacrifice, it means that you got to give up something. Sacrifice means that you have to surrender your will yeah. into his will. Jesus said in John chapter 10, he says, no man take it from me. He says, but I lay it down myself. And I have the power to lay it down. He said, I have the power to take it back from me. Somebody didn't know what I'm talking about. Jesus was and is the perfect Lamb of God. The prophet Isaiah said it like this. Says that he was led like a lamb to the slaughter. In Isaiah chapter 53. God the Father had chosen the perfect sacrifice. Jesus truly is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of this whole world. As John told us in John chapter 1, verse 29. This may not be what they expected. But this may not be the kind of saving they wanted. But this was the kind of saving they needed. I think they know what I'm talking about. How many of y'all know it may not be what you wanted? But how many of y'all know it may be what you needed? Palm Sunday is about a man who volunteered to die. How many of y'all know he volunteered to die? He volunteered to die for you and for I. The reason we still have something to shout about. It's because how many of y'all know the blood still works? How many of y'all believe the blood still works? The blood still covers and washes us as white as snow. Revelation said, uh, John said in Revelation 1, 5 through 6, he says, unto Jesus who loved us and washed us from our sin in his own blood. To be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. John also said in John 15, verses 12, he said, This is my commandment to love each other the same way that I have loved you. He said, There's no greater love than a man who lays out his life for his friends. Somebody here know what I'm talking about. How many of y'all believe you got something to shout about? God's word reminds us. How there's such great meaning in every part of Christ's story. Amen, somebody. And it's all directed us to that we know and we should all know that we need our Savior. And that should be something for you to shout about. Amen, somebody. Amen. And as we commemorate Paul Sunday, let us be in remembrance that we have seen our King. And we have received our King according to God's plan. For all of us who trust in the perfect Lamb of God and His finished work on the cross. 
How many of y'all know that your sins have been forgiven? That means your past sins, your future sins, somebody else know what I'm talking about. And so am I. Even if our present sins have been forgiven. Amen, somebody. When we have been washed in his blood, how many of y'all know his blood will wash our sins away? How many of y'all believe that? How many of y'all know we have been given his righteousness? As, as Paul said in 2 Corinthians 5 and 21, said, for he, uh, uh, for he had made man to be uh, sin for us, who he who knew no sin. God, he said that we may be made the righteousness of God in him. Yeah. And he reigns in our hearts forever. Somebody who know what I'm talking about. And that's why the Lord said, I tell you that you got something to shout about. Amen, somebody. Just like that great multitude had something to shout about as Jesus was coming into Jerusalem. They took branches out and palm trees and they, as, they, as they went out to meet him because they understood that they had something to shout about. They shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is the man who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Hosanna, Hosanna. Yeah. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom of our Father David that comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna. Somebody say, Hosanna, Hosanna. How many of y'all need the Lord to save y'all? How many of y'all need the Lord to help y'all? Somebody say, Hosanna, Hosanna. David, yeah. put it like this. In Psalms 118 and 1, he says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. Yeah. How many y'all know he's good? Yeah. And his mercy endures forever. Yeah. And that's something for you to shout about, bro. Yeah. Somebody that know what I'm talking about. Because how many y'all believe that this is the day that the Lord has made? And I will rejoice and be glad in it. Because that's something you got to shout about, bro. How many y'all was glad when they said it to you? Let us go into the house of the Lord. Because there's something you have to shout about. How many of y'all know, bless the Lord, all my soul, and all that's within me, bless his holy name, because there's something you got to shout about. How many of y'all know, bless the Lord, at all times, at good times, at bad times, at happy times, at sad times, his praise will continue to be in our mouth. My soul shall never boast in the Lord. And the hope of sharing with the Lord has been made. How many of y'all believe you got something to shout about? Oh, magnify the Lord to me. Let us exalt his name together. How many of y'all know he's worthy? He's worthy to be praised. Come on, my Lord. Are you ready now? Let's praise his name. Let's stand up. Let's push his way. Oh, magnify the Lord. They did what they did. Y'all, they did it because 
that he, he, he raised Lazarus from the dead. And that was the first dead man he raised. But he was the first person that raised after four days. Did y'all remember that widow in name when he touched the bear and touched the coffin? And the sun got up. But we can't let because people don't understand why we do what we do. The terrorists will give God praise. Amen, somebody. Because some of the y'all know he's the one that gets the gold. He's the one that gets the honor. Amen, yeah. somebody. And he's the one that gets the praise. There may be somebody here today. You may be in a dead situation. But the Lord wants you to want to bring it back to life again for you. If that's you today, I want you to know you still got something to shout about. In the midst of your situation, in the midst of your circumstance, you got something to shout about. Because you can have a relationship with him. Romans 10 and 9 says, if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, then you shall be saved. Just like Jesus told Mark, he says, I am the resurrection. He says, and the life. That whoever believes in me, they may be, they live even if they were dead. You may be in a dead situation, dead end, job, dead end relationship. Dead circumstances, whatever they need. How many of y'all know he can bring it back to life with you? And then give you something to shout about. They ask somebody. Today is the day of the Lord of the church are open. If there's anybody here, anybody under the sound of my voice that don't know Jesus for the free part of the message, I want you to get to know him today. I want you to get to know him today. And, and, and if you know him, then you will understand why that person got that shot. Because they know it was nobody but the Lord that got them through that situation and that circumstance. In order for you to know him for yourself, you gotta accept him for yourself. You can't go back and accept him for you. And if that's you today, we want you to come. We want you to come today. Come by the blood and still one and warm your bed. If you know without a shadow of doubt, that you have a relationship with him, that you're good. But if you're questioning your mind that you don't know that heaven is going to be your home, if you leave out of here today and, and have a car accident or, or, or unexpectedly pass away, and if you know that heaven will be your home, then you're good. But if you don't know that, I'm going to ask you to come down. Come by the blood that's still running warm in your veins. Come by your have time. If that's you today, if you're online, you may type in saved in the chat. It's like saved. Saved for salvation. Well, maybe we want, we're saved and we, 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 we want to rededicate our lives back to the Lord. That's you today. If you want to rededicate your life back to Him. Now, you may have fell out of fellowship with Him, but He'll never fall out of fellowship with you. If that's you today, today is your day. Today is the best day of your life if you can turn everything back around. He said, He'll never leave you nor forsake you. He said, He'll be with you to the very end. Amen. If you want to align, if you want to rededicate your life, make sure you type in rededicate or make sure someone reach out to you with it. Or maybe you want to be a part of this church family. Amen. What a fellowship we have here in the Friendship Baptist Church. Uh, we, 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 we love to have you. We love you to have you come grow with us. Come grow in the, in, in the admonition of the Lord. As we grow together, as we walk together, amen, we continue to learn together, to learn of Him. And understand that no matter what we go through, you're not by yourself. And there's somebody here today, everybody needs a church home. Don't let nobody tell you, you don't need a church home. We need each other. I need you and you need me. As we said last week, we're all a part of God's family. And there's somebody here today that needs a church home, we're going to ask you to come. Go online, type join. We'll make sure somebody reach out to you directly. Amen. If you don't feel comfortable coming to one of these calls, see myself, one of the deepest of the ministers. We'll make sure you get to where you need to go to. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Yes, Lord. Amen.
that he's been good to us. We've been good to you. Give the Lord a hand of praise. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Before we leave, I want to make sure everyone has the opportunity to worship given. So they, they came in for the first call uh, to worship the given. You may give here at uh, Friendship and Cash App, Dollar Sign Friendship, BC Hopkins. Dollar Sign Friendship, BC Hopkins. We also give to Giveify. It's down on the Giveify app, Friendship Baptist Church, 2604. Lower Ridge Boulevard, Hopkins, South Carolina, 29061. You may also bail in your time and offer it as well and get in person. If you don't have an envelope, raise your hand. We'll make sure the usher gets you one. Uh, hold that envelope until you're ready to walk out and put it in your box as you leave out. Don't forget about paying for progress. Give God an extra dollar a day. And watch God provide the increase as well. Amen. Y'all, let's continue to keep uh, the people that hate in prayer, y'all. There's a lot going on over there. And uh, we're praying that, that God intervenes and intercedes. Uh, continue to keep my uh, neighbor, Melvin and Deborah Jenkins in prayer. Y'all, Melvin is on hospice right now with a heart condition, and his wife had a stroke on last week. So we're praying for the Jenkins family uh, and their children. Uh, got a text for Reverend Andrews asking to keep her in prayer as well. Let's continue to keep her in prayer. The Reed families, let's keep the Porterfield family in prayer. Amen, amen. Uh, so Lady Gillies, uh, family member, and uh, Reverend Gillies as well. Let's continue to keep that family in prayer. Y'all, let's keep the Leggett family. One of my good friends, Pastor Johnny Leggett, uh, passed on the other night. Uh, just 48 years old. Uh, keep him in prayer. And the church family, his wife, Nicole, uh, she's from Greenville in prayer. Uh, the church family of the Greater New Mount Hermit Baptist Church in Berkeley, California. Uh, his home growing service will be this Saturday uh, at Mount Olive Baptist Church in Albany, Georgia. Amen. So we're looking to try to make it to that. So y'all keep us in prayer and keep the family in prayer as well. Amen. Any other prayer requests at this time? Monroe family. That's right. Amen. Amen. Amen, amen. Let's keep us in small row uh, and especially family in prayer. Any other prayer requests? Amen. Yes, ma'am. That's right. The Goodwin family as well. Amen. Thank y'all so much. Amen. Let's keep the Goodwin Caitlin in prayer as well. Amen. Uh, and let her know we need you. I told her she needed anything, let me know. It was great to hear her voice. Amen. Uh, that's what we're here for, y'all. In time of need, amen. It's all about wrapping our love and around those uh, that are in need. Uh, any other prayer requests? The Harpers, of the Harpers family as well, amen. Let's keep them in prayer, yes ma'am. The Hayes family, amen. Let's continue to keep them in prayer. Let's continue to pray to everybody, amen. Amen. Let us look to the Lord in prayer. Let us pray most gracious and glorious God our Father. God, we come, God, thanking you, God, for just being who you are and how you are. Now we thank you for your word, Father God, and we pray that your word, God, go out and do what you set it out to do. God, let it touch hearts and minds, Father God, and let it resonate. God, that we have something to shout about. In the midst of our situation and circumstance, God, that we can't look at ourselves, but we have to continue to look to you, Lord, with all our help and all our strength. It comes from you. God, we thank you, God, for it's all about our service, God. And we know that our service is, is our best sermon, God. So, God, we ask right now that we understand, just like Jesus had to sacrifice, that we got to sacrifice as well. So God, we come and put it on, put it, put it on the altar right now. We lay it at your feet, Father God. And God, we understand just like in this text, in the first part of this text, when Mary worshiped God, God, because we understood, she understood God that she put it at His feet, that, we, that she, that, that, she, that He'll put it in her hands. So God, as we put it in your, at your feet, whatever it is that we're dealing with, whatever it is that we're going through right now, God, God, we lay it at your feet right now. God, we give it to you, Father God, because we know we can't handle it, God. But you said in your word, God, that your yoke is easy and your burden is light. So, God, we put it on you, Father God, because you said in your word for us to cast our cares upon you. But when you said that you care for us, and that word cast means to grow. God, as we go on you, Father God, we know that we not be able to handle it, God, but you can handle it, God. So, God, we just thank you for that reminder, God, that no matter what we go through, that we still got something to shout about. God, I pray for the bereaved families right now. God, let them lift them up right now, God. Let them know, Father God, that everything is going to be all right. God, let them know, God, that you are a great comforter, Father God. Wrap your long and loving arms around them, Father God. And let them know, Father God, that this too shall pass. So, God, we just thank you, Father God. We pray for those that are sick and shedding as well. God, let them know that you are a healer, God. Let them know that you are a deliverer, God. Let them know, God, that you will set them free. God, let them know that if they spend time with you, and that you suck with them, 
that as they be deep in their relationship with you, that they'll be where they need to be. So we thank you, Father God. We thank you for every person that's here, God. We thank you for those people that are online right now, God. We pray right now that you just continue to provide, that you continue to protect, that you continue to be the promise keeper that you are, and we'll continue to give you the praise. God, we love you and we thank you. This is the God the Matchless name. Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 We love you all in Jesus' name. Amen.